You wake up, you slept seven or even eight hours, but instead of feeling sharp, you feel heavy, foggy, and drained before the day even begins. The problem is not sleep itself. The problem is that your brain is still running dozens of open loops, like a computer that never shut down properly. Unfinished tasks, unprocessed emotions, half-done projects, unanswered messages, all of them are like fragmented files scattered across your mental hard drive. And just like a computer slows down when the disk is fragmented, your brain loses speed, clarity, and energy when too many loops remain open. The good news is that there is a protocol to fix it. The brain can be defragmented just like a hard drive. In this video, you will learn the defragmentation protocol, a tactical system that can restore up to 40% of your productivity in one day by closing scattered cognitive cycles and reorganizing them into a single coherent system. Let's begin with the science. Neuroscience shows that the brain has what are called open cognitive loops. These are unfinished patterns of action that the brain keeps alive in working memory, even when you are not consciously thinking about them. Every time you told yourself, I'll do that later, your brain created a marker. Those markers never disappear on their own. They run in the background, burning resources. This is why you feel mental fatigue even after sleeping. Sleep rests the body, but it does not erase unfinished business. The loops stay open until you close them manually. That is the performance leak. It's not that you lack energy. Your energy is being drained by thousands of small background processes. Think about it like this. Your brain is a computer, but instead of one application running smoothly, you have 20 tabs open, 10 downloads paused, and two software updates waiting. The machine still runs, but slowly, glitchy, constantly lagging. And then you wonder why you can't focus on one task for more than a few minutes. The defragmentation protocol is about shutting down those hidden processes and reorganizing your mental files so your system runs clean. The protocol is built on three phases, capture, compress, and close. Each one removes a chunk of cognitive noise and gives you back mental RAM for high-value execution. Phase one is capture. The reason your brain keeps loops open is because it does not trust you to remember them. Every I'll handle this later becomes a liability. The brain treats it as a threat because unfinished tasks create uncertainty, and uncertainty consumes energy. The solution is to capture every open loop outside of your head. Take a sheet of paper or open a blank document. Write down absolutely everything that floats in your mind. Tasks, worries, errands, even random thoughts. Do not filter or organize, just capture. This is a mental dump, not a to-do list. When you do this, something powerful happens. Your brain releases those loops from working memory because now they are stored in a trusted external system. You are already defragmenting, but capture alone is not enough. That leads to phase two, compress. Once you have the raw list of fragments, your job is to shrink them. Most open loops are not tasks, they are vague signals. Call mom, finish project, clean desk, start workout. Vague tasks keep the loop alive because the brain does not know what the next action is. The solution is compression. Turn each fragment into a clear, concrete next step. Call mom becomes pick up phone and dial mom. Finish project becomes open PowerPoint and design slide one. This tiny shift is everything. Neuroscience shows that the prefrontal cortex can only deactivate the alarm signal of an unfinished task once it recognizes a clear next step. Without compression, the loop stays open. With compression, the loop closes instantly. Now comes phase three, close. Closing is the action step, but here is the key. You don't need to finish everything right now. That is impossible. Closing means one of three things. You either do it now, you schedule it, or you delete it. Do it now if it takes less than two minutes. Schedule it if it requires more, but assign a clear time and place. Delete it if it does not serve your goals. This is the critical move that separates amateurs from top performers. Amateurs keep loops alive by carrying them day after day. Top performers close loops by processing them immediately into one of those three buckets. Every loop that is closed gives you back energy and focus. Let me give you a tactical example. Imagine you have been carrying in your head. Need to fix the leaking tap. It stays there for days, draining bandwidth. During defragmentation, you capture it on your list. You compress it into call plumber and book visit. Then you close it by scheduling the call for 10 a.m. Tomorrow. Instantly, the brain shuts off the alarm, loop closed. You didn't fix the tap yet, but the brain is satisfied because it knows exactly when and how it will be resolved. That is how you win back cognitive space. Here's another layer. 
Research in psychology calls this the Zygarnik effect, the brain's tendency to keep unfinished tasks active. This effect is why you feel restless when you stop mid-task. But the effect also works in reverse. When you write down and clarify the next step, the brain treats the task as complete enough to release it from working memory. That's the science behind defragmentation. Now, let's integrate this into your daily arsenal. Set aside 10 minutes every evening for a defragmentation ritual. Take out your capture tool and dump every open loop. Compress vague signals into next steps. Close them into do, schedule, or delete. In 10 minutes, you will free up an enormous amount of mental energy. This becomes your competitive edge. While everyone else carries a fragmented brain into the next day, you start clean, sharp, and ready. But there is a hidden benefit most people don't realize. Defragmentation does not just improve focus, it also reduces anxiety. Anxiety is often the brain's signal that too many loops are open with no resolution. When you capture, compress, and close, the anxiety drops because the brain no longer fears forgetting or losing control. You go to sleep lighter, you wake up sharper, and your decision-making improves because instead of juggling noise, your mind is free to analyze and execute on what matters. Let's push this further with a power tactic. Pair the defragmentation ritual with a physical anchor. For example, light a candle, play a specific playlist, or sit in the same chair. This creates a sensory cue that tells your brain it's time to close the loops. Over time, your brain associates the cue with relief and clarity. You will start craving the ritual because it becomes linked with mental release. That's how you lock in consistency. One more advanced move. Separate your list into two categories, control and no control. Many loops are things you can't directly influence today. For example, waiting for a reply from a client. Instead of letting that fragment run in your mind, move it to a no control list. The brain relaxes because you acknowledged it, but you stop wasting bandwidth replaying it. This technique alone can save you hours of mental churn. By now you should see the pattern. Your fatigue is not about sleep, coffee, or even workload. It's about fragmentation. The defragmentation protocol is your mental reboot. Capture, compress, close. Do it daily and you will notice something shocking. Tasks feel lighter, focus feels sharper, and energy flows where before there was only fog. You literally reclaim up to 40% of brain power that was previously wasted. That is not a motivational promise. That is the math of mental bandwidth. When fewer loops run in the background, more processing power is available for execution. And this is just the beginning. In the second half, we will install the full system into your daily workflow so you operate like a clean running machine while everyone else is stuck in cognitive chaos. To install the defragmentation protocol as a permanent habit, you need structure. The first layer is the daily reset. At the end of each workday before you check out, run the three phases, capture, compress, and close. This takes 10 minutes, but it saves hours of wasted focus the next day. Think of it as shutting down background apps before you sleep. The second layer is the weekly deep clean. Once a week, dedicate 30 minutes to a larger defragmentation session. Go through all your open projects, emails, notes, and commitments. Apply the same rule, do, schedule, or delete. This clears the deeper fragments that accumulate beyond the daily cycle. The third layer is the monthly overhaul. This is where you zoom out and ask, what loops am I keeping alive that no longer matter? Old goals, abandoned projects, relationships that drain energy, delete them. Closing these big loops releases massive amounts of bandwidth you did not even realize you were wasting. Now let's talk about the hidden leverage of defragmentation. When you close loops, you do not just free energy, you create trust in yourself. The reason most people procrastinate is because deep down, they do not trust their own system. They know they forget, they know they lose track, they know they carry things for weeks. Once you run the defragmentation protocol consistently, your brain learns. When I capture something, it gets handled. That trust is a psychological weapon. It eliminates hesitation because you stop fearing things will slip through the cracks. You become execution-driven instead of worry-driven. That alone gives you an advantage over 90% of people who live in mental chaos. Here is a tactical way to make this even more powerful. Create a central capture tool that is always with you. It can be a notes app, a pocket notebook, or a digital task manager. The key is consistency. Every time a loop arises, capture it instantly. This prevents new fragmentation from building. Then, at your scheduled defragmentation ritual, you process the entire capture tool. Capture everywhere, process at one time. 
This is how you prevent constant context switching and keep your mind clean during the day. Another advanced move is linking defragmentation with your peak performance window. Research shows that the prefrontal cortex, the brain's command center, operates best when it has clarity. If you do the ritual in the evening, you wake up clean and sharp. But if you want maximum leverage, also do a micro version in the morning. Spend three minutes reviewing your closed loops, confirm your priorities, and delete any new noise. This morning, micro defragmentation ensures that you begin the day with a streamlined operating system. No lag, no background chaos, only focused execution. Now, let's connect this to productivity math. Suppose you currently waste two hours a day in distraction and fragmented focus. That is 10 hours a week, 500 hours a year. By reclaiming 40% of that through defragmentation, you gain back 200 hours of high quality execution every year. That is the equivalent of a full month of extra performance. Imagine what you could build with an extra month every year, an entire book, a new business, mastery of a skill. That is the hidden compounding power of this protocol. It does not just save you energy today. It compounds into exponential results over time. There is also a psychological reset that comes with this. Most people live in what I call the fog of fragments. They confuse being busy with being productive. Their brain is constantly juggling small tasks, so they feel active, but they are not moving forward. When you defragment, you cut through the fog. You see the real priorities. You separate signal from noise. This is why top performers seem calm while others are overwhelmed. They are not superhuman. They just run a cleaner system. Let's go deeper into the neuroscience. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning, focus, and decision-making. But it has limited working memory capacity. Every open loop occupies a slot, leaving fewer slots for creative or strategic thinking. By closing loops, you free up slots. That is why after a defragmentation session, you often feel lighter and suddenly get new ideas. It is not magic. It is bandwidth. Creativity requires free mental space and the protocol delivers it. I want you to test this right now. As soon as this video ends, take five minutes to run a mini defragmentation. Write down every open loop in your mind. Compress them into next actions. Close them with do, schedule, or delete. Notice how you feel afterward. That lightness is the signal that your brain released cycles. That is the protocol working in real time. Once you experience it once, you will never doubt it again. To summarize, here is the exact playbook. Daily 10-minute defragmentation to clear the day's noise. Weekly 30-minute deep clean to process bigger commitments. Monthly overhaul to close major loops that drain you silently. Always capture new loops in one central place. Always process them in a batch. Anchor the ritual with a cue so it becomes automatic. And remember, the goal is not perfection. The goal is clarity. Every loop closed is progress. Every fragment removed is energy restored. If you run this system consistently, your brain stops working against you and starts working for you. Instead of lagging like a cluttered computer, you operate like a high-speed machine, focused, sharp, and efficient. That is the defragmentation protocol. And if you want to keep installing more of these mental codes, protocols that rewire your brain for discipline, influence, learning, and execution, then subscribe to Success Code now. Because what you just learned is one tool in an entire arsenal designed to give you an unfair advantage in career, finance, and life.